On a day like this, it is hard to recognise that Scarborough is in a constant battle with the sea. At certain times of the year, especially when conditions conspire, this stretch of the coastline feels the full force of the North Sea. Different management strategies can be used to protect coastlines like this from the effects of physical processes. In this video, we will look at Scarborough's Castle Headland and East Pier defences as an example of a coastal management scheme in the UK. We will investigate the reasons for coastal management in Scarborough, the management strategies used and the resulting effects and conflicts. Please press like and subscribe to support this channel. Scarborough is located in North Yorkshire on the North Sea coast. The town has a prominent headland known as Castle Headland with North Bay and South Bay on either side of it. Scarborough is a popular tourist seaside resort with three and a half million visitors each year and is home to over 52,000 people. Attractions include a wide sandy beach in the South Bay with amusements and a wide selection of hotels, pubs and restaurants. There are many musical events each year, including regular performances at the spa. There is a lively harbour, sheltered from strong seas by the Castle Headland and East Pier. Scarborough's North Bay also enjoys a wide sandy beach, but it is less sheltered and more exposed to the severe threat from the aggressive North Sea. Storm tides are a regular occurrence in the North Sea and several form each year. Although most do not cause significant damage, the impact of some has been devastating. By the 1990s, severe erosion to older coastal defences left the town vulnerable to the sea and huge waves would mean the closure of the road that ran around the headland called Marine Drive over 35 times a year. Some of the older coastal defence structures were over a hundred years old and approaching the end of their serviceable life. If the town didn't receive further defences, 1,700 households and 200 commercial properties could be lost. In addition to the obvious threat to the town's safety, there were also economic problems of having to close Marine Drive so many times a year. Many residents and businesses rely on Marine Drive and face difficulties whenever the road is closed. Regular assaults by the sea also caused repairs to the road to often be required. A shoreline management plan, or SMP, was introduced to promote careful management of the coastline. The overall aim of the SMP was to set out a plan for a 100 year period indicating how the coastline should be managed. In 1997 it was agreed that Scarborough Borough Council should adopt a hold the line policy which meant it intended to keep the coastline at its present position by both maintenance and building new defences along the town's seafront. It was decided in 1999 that urgent major improvements were required and that Marine Drive should be substantially strengthened. When the scheme began in 2002 it had a budget of £26 million. A new marine drive was created and protected by acropods, rock armour and a heightened sea wall. The road also featured a modern boardwalk for tourists. 11,000 metres of concrete boardwalk style paving created a new promenade alongside marine drive. To avoid the risk of accidents, 
The road may still need to be closed during stormy weather, but hopefully not so frequently. The new road and promenade meant the North and South Bay were now better connected by both vehicles and on foot. 5,000 tonnes of stone was used for repair works to the East Pier, which provided protection to the harbour and South Bay buildings and facilities. 280,000 tonnes of rock armour was imported from Norway and was used in the defences. The large rocks absorbed the energy of the sea. On the most exposed sections of the Castle Headland and East Pier, 4,000 concrete acropods were also used. The structure and shape of the acropods mean they fit together more successfully than typical rock armour and they were carefully stacked so that the defences are angled more steeply. 600 concrete piles have been drilled into the seabed in front of the defences to hold them in place. Finally, a one metre high concrete wave return wall has been cast along the back of the defences for added protection. The curved shape turns the water back on itself in heavy seas and helps to quell the impact of the waves. Here you can see each of the features of the defences. There is the sea wall at the back. The rock armour made of Norwegian granite. The concrete acropods arranged nearer the sea. And the piles drilled into the seabed holding the defences in place. When the scheme began in 2002, the budget was £26 million. In economic terms, this is a considerable investment and only possible because of the size and influence of Scarborough Town. This type of investment is unlikely at other locations along this coastline. And, in fact, the final cost increased massively to £46.5 million pounds, due to unforeseen conditions of the seabed. The council had to make considerable cutbacks following completion due to the scheme going massively over budget and some people felt the money could have been better spent on other projects. The management of the new defences is not completed either. They need continual maintenance which only adds to the costs. However, 1,700 households and 200 commercial properties have been protected and businesses in the North and South Bay have benefited from marine drive being open more regularly. The threat to homes and businesses, estimated to be 100 million pounds at the time, has been dramatically reduced. If we consider the social impacts, the reduced rate of erosion led to 220 homes being removed from the short-term risk band and 518 from the medium-term risk band. Residents and homeowners felt more secure as a result. Marine Drive is closed on fewer occasions each year, which means people can move more easily between the North and South Bays and it has eased traffic congestion in the town. The new boardwalk promenade became a popular route to walk and exercise, perhaps catching an open top bus back along Marine Drive. Looking at the environmental effects, the rate of erosion at the cliff base has been reduced significantly. Tourists like the investment in the Castle Headland and East Pier defences and they have been well received. However, there are conflicting opinions about the success of the defences. It has been suggested that the advanced shoreline and highly reflective design of the defences may have increased the energy levels of the sea hitting the coast. 
the scheme is said to have negatively impacted the amount of sediment in North Bay. The beach acts as a coastal defence and with less sand the energy of the sea is greater against the other defences. The use of hard engineering is also controversial and people have commented that they are unnatural in appearance and can sometimes look ugly. Some people feel that soft engineering schemes or even managed retreat are a preferred option. Scarborough's recently installed coastal defences were a significant investment that will hold the line of this coastline for decades to come. They will maintain the amenities for locals and tourists alike, although, as we have seen, there are advantages and disadvantages to the scheme. In the future, when the defence is near the end of their serviceable life, I wonder what decisions people will take about managing this coastline for future generations. Will they turn to more sustainable options? I do hope you have enjoyed this look at Scarborough's defences. This video is part of a Geography Juice series looking at coastal landscapes. Thank you for watching.